Hello everyone. I just don't know how to do intros. I just always say the same thing. So hello guys. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm filming a makeup tutorial but before that I wanted to try out the Nip and Fab foundation and concealer for you guys. Um, it has been very requested since my Nip and Fab video. I don't know. I wanted to do a first impression so this is the first time I'm going to try it out. And yeah I'm just really excited. I think I did get okay colours. This is what the foundation looks like. It comes in a little tiny bottle, um, very similar to the NYX one in size. There's 30ml in here, which is a normal amount of foundation you usually get, and I got the shade 40. The concealer looks like this. It's very similar to the LA Girl ones, obviously. I got the shade 20. I'm not too sure about this concealer because there wasn't a shade for this one, but I don't know, the one above looked too dark, so I just went for this one. You get 8 mil in here, which is, I think, normal amount. 8 mil is, feels like there's a lot in here. First of all, I'm just going to moisturise my skin. Um, please mind if it's lighter here. I did use a lighter concealer to my, do my brows. I'm going to first use the Body Shop Skin Defence, which is SPF 50. I just need my SPF, guys. Bring it down your neck. Bring it everywhere. Don't neglect the neck because that's the first thing that gets saggy when you get old, I swear. And then for moisturiser, I'm going to use the Garnier Moisture Balm Moisturiser. This also has an SPF, but um, I believe it's SPF 10, which is not enough for me. It's really important to hydrate my skin. If I don't hydrate my skin, I like my makeup doesn't look that good. So, I'm going to show you how it comes out. So it's actually quite thick, it's not like droopy or anything. I'm just going to apply that, oh, colour looks alright. Um, sometimes I feel like I put too much on. Let's just deal with that right now. Realise, oh, my mirror's here. I thought I didn't have my mirror. It does feel actually kind of thick. Oh. The shade is actually not bad. I'm getting full coverage vibes out of this. Not full, full coverage, maybe like medium to full. I'm really not liking how it's looking so far on my nose. Obviously put too much here. Bring it down the neck. I'm going to try the rest with a brush to see if that makes a difference. It's actually... I don't know what I prefer right now. Um, I'm not seeing any significant difference between application with a brush and a beauty blender. I mean, I don't mind both. And it's sitting better on my nose right now. Let me just put a tiny bit on my nose. But I always prefer a beauty blender. I go through phases where I prefer a brush and then a beauty blender. But right now, it's more Beauty Blender. It's going a tad, like the tiniest bit ashy around here, like not even noticeable, but I can notice it. But I mean, it's even down my complexion. I'm gonna put a bit more here. I've been getting spots. Getting some spots. I'm just gonna build up on it and see if it can build up.
I mean it builds up pretty well and I would say that this is definitely like a perfect colour for my skin tone. My skin is looking a bit dry. It's looking a bit dry here. What I can see is separation on my nose and when it once it does that I know that it's a bit dry. I mean everywhere else it's doing it a bit here so I need to get my phone and read the claims on this foundation to see if it is suitable for dry skin because if it's not then fair enough. I'm going to go straight on to using the concealer. It's not bad. It's actually a perfect colour. I did, I'm glad I didn't get the darker one but we'll see how it blends out. I always go in the crevices of my nose and I'm also going to go on my lids I'm just going to use my beauty blender I'm getting good vibes out of this concealer right now. Good vibes. I'm sorry about all the door creaking and stuff, like with all this wind, the doors are going crazy. Pretty good. I mean, it's not that bad and it's sitting really nice. It's not creasing instantly, which is a good sign. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I just finished my makeup and a tutorial on this look will be up tomorrow if you guys want to see how I got this. It's the more natural toned down Eve makeup look. But in terms of the foundation, I'm actually pretty surprised at how well other products build upon it. However, there is a bit of uh, dryness on my nose and just around this bit. Not as much around here anymore, but my nose, it just looks really like separated. I see a bit of smile lines coming through, a little bit, um, but everywhere else, it it looks alright. So I'm back, it's now around 6pm and I'm really sorry if it did get cut off, I had people that walked into the house and I just had to stop filming. No. I did go on to the Nip and Fab website to see what the foundation claims because there's nothing on the foundation, it doesn't even come in a box. So it says, meet your new makeup staple to guarantee no filter status. This medium coverage foundation will leave you with a photoshopped effect complexion so that you can achieve flawless selfie ready skin in seconds. With a soft focus effect to blur imperfections and with a natural matte finish, this foundation feels lightweight and non-greasy on the skin whilst giving maximum coverage with a no cake effect. With a light liquid texture, little goes a long way with this foundation and blends easily with fingertips or a brush. With an added bonus, there's 10 shades and they also have like the lightening and darkening drops which is a plus side, I have to give it that to them, but I didn't know there was actually 10 shades. I was going to say that they need to improve their shade range because the one above this was so dark I just I wasn't even sure if this was going to even suit me so I think they definitely need to Im improve on their shade range and even if they do have 10 shades I'm pretty sure that most of them are on the lighter side of the colour scheme when there's just like two dark colours so they definitely need more deeper skin tone colours. I do agree with the medium coverage, it gives around medium coverage and if you build on it you can get a medium to full coverage. I don't know about the soft focus effect, it does have a natural matte finish, like it's not dewy in any way and I think that's why I get a bit of dryness around my nose. And it says maximum coverage with a no cake effect, it's not cakey and I don't think it gives maximum coverage but you can get like a medium full coverage, medium to full, not full coverage. And it is quite lightweight, but it does feel quite thick still. So if it's a, it's a thick liquid, but when you put it on, you can't really feel it. And I prefer to apply it with a beauty blender. But most of the things that it claims it has done. The good thing is, is that there's not much smile lines. I've got them. They're barely there. I'm going to do a close up. Um, the smile lines are barely there and I am using natural lighting so as you can see guys like the colour is like perfect. Um, the only thing is it looks a bit funny on my nose. It is kind of 
and they're like patchy but everywhere else it looks okay even the concealer is actually really nice it works as well as like my favorite concealers like the Tarte Shape Tape it's not as full coverage but the creasing is okay like it's just like my other concealers that I wear on a daily but I do have to say when I use other concealers like it does look a bit different in this bit like it really brightens in this so I don't have that much of a dent so there's that side to it as well so I don't know I would give the concealer a it acts it actually has faded a bit in this bit so I think that's why it's a bit dented here so I'll probably give it like an 8 out of 10 it's very similar to the LA Girl one and the foundation I'll probably give it a an I would also give it like an 8 out of 10 because I'm quite dry and it's not like the best foundation I've tried. I can see a lot. The smoothing effect doesn't really show up on me. Like when I, the Rimmel foundation does have a blurring effect and I feel like my skin has less texture when I use that foundation. But with this one, I feel like it's, doesn't really does that. It just, it just looks bumpy to me. I know that's my that's how my skin is, but it's not like the best foundation. But nevertheless, it's still really really good for the price. So eight out of ten is not bad. Like I'm really happy with how it turned out. I do have to say that. I think that's all I have to say about this foundation. Do I think it's worth twelve pounds? Definitely. It works really well. You guys can see like it just evens out your complexion. Doesn't feel heavy. I was sweating a lot, and it actually doesn't. My sweat doesn't come through. So I went in the sun. Hasn't really even faded around my cheeks, cheek areas. So that's a good plus side. Will I be using them? Yes. It's not like really bad or anything. It's actually quite good. So yeah, definitely an 8 out of 10 for both of these. If you guys have any questions about the foundation or the concealer, um, let me know. I will leave links in the info box if you guys want to check it out. And I believe at Super Drugs they do have an offer at the moment for like buy now, get one second half price, which that's why I bought them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!